my top bosses. This is Kenya. We are gearing towards a very clean environment. We are gearing towards a very clean economy whereby the vehicles that are coming on our roads are purely electric. The country is gearing towards the EV and this is a great initiative. It is fostered by the president himself the Ministry of Energy, and I can tell you that the future of this country is on a very, very high gear in terms of sustainability. When it comes to the energy, when it comes to the environment, we are very safe. Because you know what? This is a vehicle that is 100% electric, meaning it relies on electricity and it uses the lithium battery technology whereby you don't have to use the fossil fuels to have it moving. Now, in other areas, we are so happy because even the two-wheelers, the three-wheelers such as the tuk-tuk are also on the same space. Therefore, it rubber stamps the fact that we are moving in the right direction as a country. It is important for you to be happy about this initiative because the carbon emissions that have really caused a lot of health issues to the Nairobians and Kenya generally and also the big cities is coming to an end. One thing that I can guarantee you my top boss is that the country is geared towards the right direction whereby the government itself is fostering this initiative of the e-mobility e-mobility the electric vehicle earlier on in the day i had the privilege to interview the ps permanent secretary for energy that is alex kamau washira and this was our conversation take a look will you allow the private sector who wants to invest in charging stations to use solar instead of the national grid uh, well, uh, that is what we call captive power. It's a conversation that we will be able to have. Yes. We're so grateful as a government that you are spearheading this initiative. And uh, by 2030, do you think that uh, we'll have EV on our roads, 50% of the vehicles? We may not be able to have 50% of our vehicles on EV, but I'm sure we'll have a substantial amount of our vehicles on EV. Mostly because we realize that uh, most of our vehicles on the road are usually about seven years old. So as Europe and the uh, Far East is transitioning, so will Africa transition. So we might have a lag uh, in terms of uh, having more vehicles uh, on the road. And also, even in terms of manufacturing, we're also having a challenge in terms of uh, the speedy deployment and manufacturing of the vehicles. So 50% probably is a high target. Uh, we will achieve, but not 50%. Thank you. Thank you. Asante. Right. Thank you.